of the other things you do uh. great. You're now a best-selling author, and I understand the book is number one with a bullet. So the biggest concept that we've seen come out of the book is the elevator pitch. Jeffrey Hazlett is the head of the Hazlett Group and author of Running the Gauntlet. When I started reading that, uh, I immediately felt like we were soulmates uh, because I, I've been there. Well, the key thing is about adapt, change, or die is always to make sure that we're moving ahead and we're changing. <laughs> Not like radical change in terms of unless it's really needed. Side by side, right, right there. Look at that. Side by side, two best sellers right there. Jeff, what's the task? Jeff Hazlett, what do you think, Jeff? Uh, Jeff Hazlett, the CEO of the Hazlett Group, uh, doing uh, uh, marketing advice for companies, uh, uh, some of the biggest companies in the world. And marketing expert Jeff Hazlett says, nobody's buying because they don't want to buy into Mark Zuckerberg. Is that what this is all about now? So, how can Dell be saved? Jeffrey Hazlett knows how hard it is to turn a company around. So, Jeffrey, you obviously know about this. First hand, how hard is this going to be for oh, this Michael is a, Dell? This is a great big job. In fact, you got a question, do you want to do it? I mean, the good news that's going to come out of this is no longer will New Coke be the worst public announcement. It's really going to be Quickster, which I'm saying is Deadster. I mean, they've embraced the digital business and moved their traditional business to the side. i, I got to give them credit for that. Okay, it's a very broad question. So I guess let's narrow it down to how do you even start to think about choosing what kind of marketing? Well, I, I like Sam Kinison, the old comedian. He used to have a, a whole routine about starving people people in the desert. He said, move to where the food is. All right, so give me an amen for marketing. It's not easy to take risk in a company. Not easy to cause tension. Let's see, that's our jobs as leaders. It's not going to go perfect. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for change agents to the process. People who just see that the clock needs to be changed and they change it. That's it, brothers and sisters. I feel it, I feel it. I feel a feeling coming over the audience. It perplexes me. I mean, this is basically like giving you a crack pipe and then charging you for the crack. I mean, this is the way. Oh, that was funny too. Come on, get him up there. Be proud, sir. Be proud, thank you. You helped make our quarter last year. I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's the quality that counts. And the deeper the conversations, even across less people, is better than trying to carpet bomb everybody. I'm sure that many of you have great passion for your company and your products, but you got to remember, it's not alone to be able to drive it. People got to get going here. There's no attorneys watching you in this room. Come on, you can laugh it up. That's why you come to conferences like this, to be able to get ideas from each other, from your partner, to be able to gain the velocity that you need. Now, I'm from South Dakota. Anyone here from South Dakota? No. I think they were scared, you know. Here's this big, bloody American cowboy with cowboy boots coming on the stage right off the bat, you know, just like he's thrown off the prairie, you know. I'm a big avid hunter, very uh, much an outdoorsman. I don't get to do that in my apartment in New York. This week I'm in South Dakota, so I get to see my horses and see my family. I get a chance to get out on the prairie and out on the range and, and, and ride a little bit, and that clears my head and gives me a chance to just to, to, to recharge. A faster horse, a bigger horse, more horses. But you wouldn't want to go to that newfangled contraption yet. My 2013 Ram 1500 makes going fishing effortless. You know, if you're, you're authentic and you're real, that, I think that comes through and it comes through in, 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 you know, in aces or spades or whatever you call it. Maybe it's my being from South Dakota, being a little bit more of a cowboy and just being direct and honest and talking about things the way they should be. But that's just how we do it, you know, out here. And by doing it those, those ways, I think you, you know, you, you really try to stay true to yourself and it's, and it's a lot easier for you to do.